So I'm going to show you a knot that I like to use if it's my first introduction for a horse being tied. Uh, what I like to think about is from my hand to the horse's head, that's the lead rope. From my hand to the end of the rope, it's called the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the tail in half and I'm going to go under. And it's going to split the tail and the lead rope. I take the tail over the loop, then I take the tail under the lead rope and I fold it in half and I push it through the original loop. Now I pull the lead rope part. Now what that's going to do is, is that horse is now tied solid. So that will not slide, that will not give. And what I mean by not sliding, it, it won't venture down the end of the rail. However, what it does allow you to do is it allows you to pull and quickly release your horse if your horse gets hung up in something. So I want you to, to know with this quick release knot, so again, I'm, horse is on my right side, tail is off to my left. I fold that, put it under, and I split, take the tail over, then under, and I fold. I want you to be very careful about not sticking your fingers through there. Because if this horse did pull back, I could lose one of my fingers. So I'm very adamant about pushing rope through. So see, I'm going to push it through, and I'm going to catch it. So when you run into that spot right there, if you leave it loose, that horse going back and forth, it'll come undone. So to tighten it, I'm going to pull on the horse side, which is the lead rope, and that's going to snug that knot right on down. And now she's tied solid. She, outside of her pulling on that tail, that knot's going to stay there. So I like it because from any side of the fence, let's say I was on the outside of the fence and somebody saw your horse in trouble or the horse is tied in trouble, again, they could just pull and the horse was loose.